Hey y'all, it's your boy, Mojo Joe Fro, yo. Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy, JC Owens. We're going to be back on the My Park today. Nah, I'm just kidding. Alright, so today I've got a pretty cool video to show you. It has to do with your phone, and you guys can do this at home uh, for free. I'm going to check my script or whatever, because I have one of those. I'm not a very good in Provide talker as you can see right there. I'm not able to talk Whatever, so I just wrote it down Hey y'all, it's your boy Mojo Froyo. There are multiple ways Have I said there's multiple ways to customize your phone? We're just getting to that now. There are multiple ways to customize your phone. You can uh, Get rid of the labels on the icons where it says like uh, Phone, Instagram, Snapchat. You can get rid of those it's really easy, you don't need an app for it or anything. And another one you can do is to put in blank icons so you could have open space or kind of organize it however you want. So it would be a really cool design. Like if you want to put it in the top left, you guys can't see that, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, whatever, and have the apps make kind of a plus sign. You can do that, you can do whatever you want. I had them take out the top letter because for my home screen, I put my name, Mojo Froyo right there so you guys can see it and I will show you how to do that later in the video and I need to say one more thing let me look at this. the themes alright so the themes kind of are the major thing that customizes your phone you use this uh, website called iSkin I think or whatever I'll put a link down below in the description if you guys want to check that out this video was requested by Nike Swish cuz he saw my Instagram post about it and if you guys haven't seen that go check it out at Mojo Froyo alright now that this intro kinda of thing is done let's go get into the tutorial Alright, so here is my phone. I have the iPhone 5S. It does not matter what generation phone you have. I'm just using this one because it's the only phone I have. You want to go into your um, your phone. Alright, so this is the non-customized home screen. And then over here is the actual customized things. As you can see, these are different themes. These uh, apps are not actually apps they're extensions so if you go into safari it'll open a blank one because it'll connect to the actual safari and if you press these these will lead you to your standard actual applications made by the creators the creators sounds crazy no the app creators okay as you can see, I have, well, you can't really see because they're blank. These are blank icons up here. I did that so you can see the name up above. So if you double tap the home button, you can see all the apps, which separates it from the screen. So these apps kind of were made to fit with the background so that these are separate words. And it spells out my name. So it comes here and then it fits in perfectly. So it looks like there's nothing there. All right. so. First of all, I'm going to teach you how to remove these icon labels. As you can see, these ones do not have the labels, but these apps do. Oh, and one more thing I, I would like to point out. If you're going to make one entire screen, like a screen full of applications where there's no spaces, full of apps without labels, you're going to only want to have two, two uh, screens or slides or whatever because if you have more than two and you like swipe over here then the labels will come back I'll show you what I mean in a couple seconds so I'm gonna move this I'll use uh, Pandora as an example so I bring this down you swipe this up whatever that is called you bring it up double tap the home button and then go back in and as you can see the label is gone but when I put this back in and I go to the third one, which is over here, or third or fourth, the label comes back. Alright, so that is how you get rid of the 
icon labels. Now I'm going to show you how to get uh, blank blank apps like these. So what you want to do is go down to what you want to do is go down to the do is go down to the link in the description and it'll take you to this website called iSkin. If the link doesn't work for some reason for whatever reason just type in iSkin in your search and then click the first one which will take you over here these are all the themes this is the same website that you're gonna use to download the themes which I will show you how to do in a couple seconds alright so you wanna go to the bottom where it says blank icons click that and then you go down here to create blank icon you go to add and then you wanna choose you wanna select the file to upload to the thing so that the cons match your home screen so it looks like they're there and not out of place All right so you wanna go over to your home screen and then take a screenshot of it like so and then go back into Safari choose file photo library moments and then you want to upload your screenshot that you just took of your home screen sorry if the quality is really bad I could have used my uh, screen recorder but I decided not to because I thought that you guys would find it easier for me to do it like this so you can actually see where I'm going where my hands going to go to click a certain thing so you guys can follow along and do exactly what I'm doing but it quality might be worse since it's recording a screen from a different device uh, so comment down below if you think that this is better or if the screen recorder is better you can go see an example of my screen recorder working for my adventure cube video go check that out so once you upload your photo you're gonna go it's gonna take you over here and then you want to scroll down and then you'll see this so you're gonna choose any place on your on the screen there's uh one by one one by two one by three one by four and so on and so forth so let's choose a five by four all right so you have your blank icon here correct and you want to slide you want to go down and then go up so that you have this little bar click this upload one and you can press add to home screen and it'll automatically add it to home screen this is the question mark you want to leave that there or you could add a label on the icon if you want, whatever. I'm just gonna leave mine blank. And then you press add. And here is my blank icon. This one goes right here in the bottom corner. As you can see, it looks like it's not even there because we uploaded our home screen screenshot so that it would make the blank icon look exactly like the home screen. So that's how you do that. And you can tell if there's a blank icon there. If you do this, you can see the little delete marks and they wiggle. So you just get rid of that since I don't need it. Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to get the extensions for the different themes. This one was kind of stressful because I couldn't find the exact ones I wanted. Not all of the extensions work for... for, 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 for not all the extensions work perfectly for the um, applications. So like if I go to YouTube, it's kind of a little lag and then it takes me there, but it still works. After this video, I think I'm gonna get rid of the extensions cause you don't really need them. But Nike Swish said he wanted me to show him how to do it. So here you go, Nike Swish. Better upload something. Oh, I'm at. 44% hold on magic trick ready boom Ta -da. all right so let's go back into here uh, you're gonna use the same link as you did for the custom icons one so you go to eye skin what are the different themes there's Pokemon magnificent edition B ringmaster oxygen all these different ones I originally uh, wanted to use neon for my 
for my theme because I thought it looked pretty cool but those extensions didn't work too well so I decided to use I think it was that's ombre something else and something else there are tons of themes you can choose from so you could go to like browse all themes or whatever but for now I'm gonna show you how to get them so let's use TBN as an example you wanna click the theme that you want scroll down go to oh lock screen and home screens are the ones that you could choose that would look the best with these themes so you just go here click this it'll take you to this page and then you go hold on it and then you just save them and apply that to your <laughs> apply that to your home screen oh, I want to go back so you want to go to application icons you want to scroll down and these are all the different themes and the trick here is that you can only install the extensions of the applications you have so if you have camera then you can do that as you can see it checks it off and if you want a label on it uh, then you just leave it or you could press X and type in your own thing like that and that label will come up as whatever you type but if you do not have a compass for some reason if you don't have compass and you select it and you try to install it it will not install so you have to make sure to get the the extensions of the apps that you have Ugh. okay so if you want like app store for example you click on it get rid of the label if you don't want it and there's one you want to go to generate theme scroll down it'll process and then take you to settings where it will add the profile the profile allows the themes to be installed on your iPhone. So this is the Transformers theme. So you want to hit install. Type in my passcode. And then install again. Press install. It'll pop up. And then done. Now, when you go out. There it is. It's right here. That's the one we just installed. So. I have App Store. So obviously, this will take me to the App Store. Unfortunately, not all of the, uh, what is it? Not all of the, not all of the extensions take you where you want to go. For example, I downloaded like, um, notes and settings. Those are the standard default applications. Those kind of don't allow you to be customized that much. So if you try and go into it, through another extension which it does not require so it doesn't need you to you know I actually have no idea what I'm talking about whatever you can try go do this and that oh my god I should write a full Ooh, my dad I don't know about you but I think that video was pretty cool I really like the customization and the themes that you can do to your phone without a jailbreak. That is important. No jailbreak. Alright. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Watching? What? Thank you guys for watching my dishes. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video will help you customize your phone. And if it does, DM me on Instagram a screenshot of your customized home screen. And maybe I'll give you a shout out during the video. Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty cool. I I do that. All right. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, and if you're not followed, go over here. I mean, yeah, go over here, which is at Mojo Froyo, and then over, over here I've got my previous video that I've done so far, my latest video that I have made, and over here I've got my favorite video that I've done so far. What? Did I already say that? Oh well. And if you're new here and you're not already for subscribed for some reason, hit that subscribe button. And if you like today's video, destroy that like button. Uh, Alright, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Oh, and I think my next video will be a tutorial, so look out for that.
I will upload that very soon. So, I'll see you later. Goodbye. Oh, I mean fade to black. That's what it was.